Okay, so um, it's um, for those who smoke cannabis and use it to raise your level of loving. Um, it's good to run out. Uh, you know, it's, it shows that you're not scared of running out, and you just deal with it if none turns up. A bit like Bob Marley's song, "No Woman, No Cry." Bob Marley was one of the witnesses. John Lennon was the other. Um, so spheres. Uh, A. J. Miller has explained spheres. He explained that when God made the first two humans, they were uh, sort of sphere six or seven, I think. Or maybe they were seven. They dropped to six quite early. So how they say they dropped to six? Six didn't exist, but they created it by finding a way to be less loving. And throughout history, we've we've gone down. Now these levels have been separated in sort of to seven. It's like one with God. So why is it seven? You know, there are just different different things in different spheres. Like uh, I believe it's sphere two or three, where you can only yeah sphere three. You can only tell the truth. Um, otherwise you'll drop down a level. Um, so sphere one is actually many, many, many levels. And so there are souls experiencing living on extremely low levels, you know. And um, so you could say there are just thousands of levels within sphere one, say. So... Um, when you smoke cannabis, it raises your, your your loving levels. It raises you in the spheres. And so this is all sort of within the soul, so you can't fake it. It is what it is. Uh, it's within the rules of the universe and the rules of the soul. So you can't pretend to be more loving. You either are or you aren't. But cannabis has this effect. And then when you stop smoking cannabis, as it goes away, you sort of drop. And if you smoke cannabis for more than a few days, then obviously you are going to be dropping at the same time smoking more cannabis and, and raising. So you're going to be sort of doing this. And as you smoke cannabis longer and longer, it's going to have less effect, almost to zero effect. And there's probably some compensation effect as well because you've used something. You probably just dip a little bit below your normal level before you get back to your normal level if you stop smoking. So yeah, so that's a bit about spheres and, and that. So, so what happens, so when I smoke cannabis, it raises my level, level so that I'm able to feel, feel the truth. And that's why a lot of people stop smoking cannabis, because they can't face the truth they're feeling. Uh, that happened to me back when I was 19 and I went to Norway and, you know, I wasn't prepared to face what I was feeling. Mainly the truth about myself, which I've recently declared in another video. And, um, yeah. So now when I do it, I, I'm feeling that truth and so I know I'm not wrong. Now is it possible that I raise a few spheres and then become influenced by spirits? Well, no, because if you raise above level three, they would only be able to tell you the truth, so they would only be able to give you true feelings. I've I've had enough experience smoking cannabis and I've been in some very loving states but up until last year there was a definite ceiling I could not go past and it would be a bit scary if I if I smoked cannabis and got to that level and I I kind of remember a feeling of having my nose up against the ceiling and that's not a very comfortable feeling 
So, once I'd heard the truth from AJ Miller, and I smoked cannabis, and I also went sort of two weeks without, that was the first time that I really proceeded through that ceiling with the truth. And over the last year I've been dealing with uh, all the new concepts, the understandings that I've been getting. And um, it's led me to where I am now. And so when I stop smoking cannabis, I'm not connected to that feeling. So obviously I've got work to do. Um, sometimes then I, I doubt what I've been saying. And the thing is, I put it into words anyway, which may not quite be quite correct. You know, so earlier I was, I dug out, emptied my drawer, you know, there's probably a couple of little bits of weed in there and <laughs> smoked that, so sort of was up and I sort of wanted to ask, I wanted to understand what is the one, what is the Messiah of Christ and everything. And obviously I've been thinking about that before before and how it what it is is God has chosen someone to heal them of their generational soul injuries and in a sense then God has got someone he can be felt by so that that person would understand what God would want. Um, not saying any, no one can do that, but on a level which is, is if you like, you know, completely harmonious. Having broken through that sort of those spheres and and being able to feel on that level. Right, so, what, you know, what's he going to do? Well, he's, he's going to be, he's going to rule. And that's where I came in with that thing with Zion. And then Bob Marley's song, I am Lion Zion. Bob Marley, <laughs> he was. And John Lennon both. So here we are. Here we are. Let's go. Cool.